So in this uh, tutorial, I'm going to quickly run through baking global illumination to a texture map. So I've got this very simple scene set up. It's a room with uh, two spheres and I've got a GI uh, switched on. So I'm just going to render this scene. And um, as you can see, I kind of uh, exaggerated the global illumination. It's quite strong and you can see a lot of uh, red light bleeding onto the ceiling and a lot of blue light kind of below the blue sphere and the shadows and um, so it's quite a strong effect. What I want to do is I want to create a texture map for the room so um, all this kind of specular information is uh, kind of baked into the color map so I'm just gonna um, start by creating a connect object and I'm gonna put all my room objects into this connect object and then I'm just gonna collapse the uh, make the connect object editable so that's basically basically my room there now um, I'm just gonna get rid of some of these textures and get rid of the selection so one thing to um, bear in mind is you want to check the UV maps um, and you want to make sure before you do any kind of baking that the UV map is hasn't got any overlaps or um, intersecting areas so that's my room object and as you can see it looks like uh, certain areas are uh, intersecting so I'm just gonna um, select all the faces go into this mode. So I'm just going to select everything and choose a cubic 2 and as you can see that's just created a quick kind of um, map. So I'm just going to go with that. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go back to uh, Cinema 4D. So um, now I'm going to add a bake texture tag and I'm going to create a file, so I'm just going to call it scene.psd. This is a file I, uh, I created earlier. I'm just going to overwrite that. PSD, single file, check that. 16-bit uh, color channel. I'm going to make the size um, 1024 by 1024. And uh, the render time really does increase the larger uh, the texture sizes. Pixel border... Um, just gonna leave it one super sampling 10 maybe six I'm gonna check continue UVs I'm gonna make the background black uh, I'm gonna check surface color set the mapping to cubic and I'm just gonna start baking now I'm gonna overwrite so um, that's the baking complete and um, the next step is basically to turn off uh, global illumination and then I'm going to go to the room's uh, material and I'm going to check luminance and I'm going to load in the texture which I just baked which is a scene.psd, I'm going to load that in and um, I'm just going to render it. And um, as you can see, that's rendering very quickly, and we've got the GI texture kind of baked onto the scene. And um, I remember these uh, spheres being a bit brighter, so I could kind of cheat. Um, just turn on luminance, give it some kind of self luminance. Uh, same with the blue. that render again and that looks uh, much closer to the original render and as you can see it's uh, rendering very quickly and we can zoom in and uh, as you can see the GI is like almost kind of looks like it's uh, updating global illumination in real time 
so um yeah i hope that uh is a useful tip and uh thanks for watching